Hi, I'm John Rokicki, an Engineering Manager within EMC's Data Protection and Availability Division. In talking to a lot of our customers, the amount of data that is sitting on NAS devices today can often be very large, and there is an existing pain point where normal backup operations exceed the time windows available for getting data onto protection storage devices. Networker's newly enhanced Snapshot Management feature set now includes integration with NAS devices. This feature attacks this problem at the core. With these enhancements, you can schedule local point-in-time snapshot copies of NAS storage and then roll over the snapshot to protection storage. This storage can be based on disk, VTL, or even legacy tape backup media. The key is, by leveraging a snapshot of the NAS storage, you now have the ability to offload the backup from the production volumes and no longer burden your end users with transaction limiting backup overhead. Not to mention maintaining large quantities of snapshots on the higher tier of storage for longer term backup and recovery purposes is not cost effective. Before I get into the details on this new functionality, let's review why we leverage snapshots in general and some of the aspects of networker snapshot management, specifically for VMAX and VNX block-based storage. To level set, a snapshot managed by networker is a point-in-time copy of a production volume or volumes within the array. Networker makes it very easy to configure the policies that enable snapshot creation to run during times that best match your business requirements. Snapshots bring value when the recovery point objective, or RPO, is shorter than the traditional backup window, as well as when a traditional recovery takes longer than the recovery time objective, or RTO. In most typical snapshot use cases, multiple snaps are often required. For example, a snap may be required first thing in the morning before the business opens. Another snap is made partway through the day after a specific job has been run. And finally, at the end of the day, let's say around 9 p.m., the value here is that the administrator has the flexibility to configure any number of snapshots and the intelligent pairing feature within the storage array means Networker will automatically select the appropriate LUNs for the snapshots. Management of snapshots is made easy with Networker. The snapshot management feature is included in the Networker client and simply needs a software key to enable the functionality. Configuring snapshots and backups from those snaps is very easy when using the optional configuration wizard provided with the Networker Management Console. The wizard will automatically discover production arrays configured on the Networker clients and will also automatically populate the appropriate configuration fields. Most importantly, the Networker Administrator does not need in-depth knowledge of the storage array to configure snapshots and backups. Reporting and management occur within the Networker Management Console, providing a single pane of glass for data protection. From orchestration to monitoring, NMC has you covered. Recovering from a snapshot is also simple by using the recovery UI within the NMC. Plus, the recovery can be granular. The administrator can choose to recover an entire volume or individual items or files. Networker Snapshot Management brings a lot of value to big data customers. For example, using Networker Snapshot Management offers a single pane of glass approach to data protection and seamless end-to-end -end data protection for both snapshot backups as well as recoveries. As I mentioned earlier in this latest Networker 8.2 release, we have expanded Networker Snapshot Management, extending its functionality to file-based NAS storage. Let's take a closer look at the specified features we have added. Considering that you may already have a manual snapshot-based workflow in place for your NAS device, upon implementing Networker, all your existing snapshots currently created on supported NAS devices, both local and remote, will be cataloged and reflected within the single view of the Networker Management Console. This includes snaps which were created by native NAS device management tools or other data center storage management utilities. So right off the bat, Networker can provide for consolidated snap cataloging and tracking. While snapshots that were created outside of Networker's control are cataloged within Networker, they are not managed by Networker. 
Networker can utilize them as the data source for a rollover to protection storage operation or recovery. Management of these externally created snaps remain under the control of the management application which originally created the snapshot. When beginning to implement new NAS storage snapshot policies within Networker, you will be able to do so via the same configuration wizards and backup policy wizards I mentioned earlier to walk you step by step in designing snapshot creation, snapshot rollover, and snapshot expiration policies to meet your business's SLAs. Realizing that some environments have heterogeneous support requirements for NAS storage, we are proud to announce that we are initially supporting VNX, Isilon, and even NetApp from day one. Now let's look at an example data flow when using NAS snapshots with Networker Snapshot Management. We'll look at this from the same production scenario you may currently have in your environment today. NAS clients write new files and access file data stored on NAS storage. At the time set by the policy in Networker, or if required on demand, the Networker server sends a command to the NAS device to create a snapshot of the production data. The snapshots are based on the specific directories and files called out in the client settings in the policy specified. There is no need to correlate user directories to specific storage on the NAS system. Upon receiving this command, the NAS device performs its proprietary operation to create the snapshot. Once the snapshots have been created, Networker maintains immediate catalog awareness of this newly created snapshot, making it available for recovery from Networker if required. Additionally, depending on policy and your specific retention requirements, the Networker server can instruct the NAS device to roll over certain snapshot save sets from the snapshot catalog. This is done via the NDMP backup method to either a disk-based storage protection target such as data domain or a tape device. With your NAS data now rolled over and protected, you now have the ability to free up costly storage on the production NAS infrastructure, which was previously utilized to store older snapshots of NAS data. Expiration of snapshots on the NAS device is also fully controlled by Networker policy, and you can specify how long to retain certain snapshots and longer term save sets on protection storage separately. In illustrating simplified workflow, you can see how Networker is truly providing automated and flexible data protection lifecycle management. So you may be looking at what we just discussed and thinking that the restore has to be complex, right? Not so. Restore is also fully automated via Networker. Let's walk through it. In a recovery scenario, Networker provides you with the ultimate in flexibility and control without sacrificing ease of use. Once a desired recovery point is selected from the Networker catalog, several options for recovery are possible, depending on where you want the data recovered to. If the desired recovery destination is a Networker client, Networker can recover either an entire save set or a subset of files and directories from a snapshot over the LAN to the recovery destination. If the desired recovery destination is the NAS device itself, Networker can recover either an entire save set or a subset of files and directories directly to the recovery destination. If the save set resides on protection storage, such as a data domain system or tape, NDMP is used to recover the data to its original location, a different location on the same NAS device, or even to a different device of the same type. If the save set resides on a snapshot, the NAS device can recover data directly from the snapshot to its original location or to a different location on the same NAS device. This latter method provides for a quicker RTO for operational or disaster recovery of files and directories. For larger NAS devices, the ability to perform device-controlled recoveries provide for previously unheard of RTOs, and you take the advantage of bypassing the LAN entirely during the recovery process. Now that we have walked through the data flows for both the backup and recovery processes, it's clear that not only have we included a very robust feature set for support of NAS snapshots within Networker 8.2, but we have done so leveraging the same simple orchestration methods and wizards we have introduced in Networker over the past couple of releases. If you have been manually managing NAS snapshots via scripting or other manual means, 
you can certainly understand how involved it is to keep track of things operationally and assure that capacity costs stay with, within check. With this latest release of Networker, all of the workflows highlighted in this video are automated and orchestrated based on policies and client configuration performed via the Networker Management Console, as well as Networker's client and recovery configuration wizards. This not only addresses the potential for errors when using these types of protection lifecycle workflows, but also streamlines your operations to further reduce costs. More importantly, Networker also provides reporting. You can leverage reporting mechanisms already built into Networker to properly report on all of your policies, cataloged snapshots, and protected save sets, allowing you to provide confidence through simple and easy to understand reporting to your lines of business. For more information on Networker or any of the other components of the EMC Data Protection Suite, visit emc.com.